Did you know that the country of Nicaragua never instituted a lockdown, never required masks, and yet crushed the coronavirus? Right now, Europe is going through a process of reinstating lockdowns across the continent. Major protests just this past weekend in Germany, in Switzerland, and in the UK as people are saying no to more lockdowns. We're watching Italy right now instituting a new month-long lockdown. The country of France also instituting a new lockdown for the city of Paris for the next 30 days. We're watching this take place once again all over the world. So why isn't anyone learning from places that didn't institute lockdowns and yet did extraordinarily well? Is it simply because those countries wound up with the result that the media and Big Pharma were not hoping for? I'm Ben Swan. This is Truth in Media. Well, welcome to the show. A lot to get to today as we're going to show you the numbers surrounding the country of Nicaragua and how incredibly well that nation did while instituting no lockdown for its people and requiring no mask mandates. We're also going to compare those numbers to neighboring countries and also to the United States. Just how well did Nicaragua do? We're going to show it to you. Before we get to that, though, a shout out to our sponsor for this episode, ISE.media, of our new free speech platform for content creators who have been purged from other social media for doing reports just like the one you're about to watch. Because if you have a dissenting point of view, doesn't matter if facts are on your side or not, social media and tech companies have decided that you must be silenced. It's why we have built ISE.media, utilizing technologies that allow us to be free from censorship and also from being shut down by big tech companies that might not like our message. They did it to Parler, but they can't do it to us. ISE.media is built on the back of blockchain technology, the same technology that powers Bitcoin. It makes us unique in this space. Check out our new site. All right, so let's talk about this issue of the country of Nicaragua, because as you know, there are new lockdowns and mandates going into place all over the world as a result of new strains of coronavirus that are apparently popping up. And while people are protesting and saying no to this, one thing that's not happening is an actual reasonable discussion and debate over places in the world where no lockdown over the course of the past year was instituted. No mask mandates were instituted. And this is important because we don't just have a few weeks or a few months of data to look at. We actually have a full year of data to look at now that we've had a year's worth of lockdowns. So how do countries like Nicaragua do? Well, let's start with this because the president of Nicaragua, Daniel Ortega, made the decision to allow people to decide for themselves. Paraphrasing here, but essentially the people of Nicaragua were told that if they wanted to wear a mask, they should wear a mask. And if they didn't want to wear a mask, they shouldn't. Ultimately, people made decisions for themselves as to how much contact they would have with others. The same was true for businesses. If a business wanted to close down, it had every right to. But if it wanted to stay open, it also had the right to do that. Now, over and over, we heard that this kind of policy would be extremely harmful. And the country of Nicaragua and its president, Daniel Ortega, came under extremely strong scrutiny around the world for making this decision. In fact, some publications claimed that he was committing human rights abuses against people by not mandating lockdowns and mask wearing. Now, even a year ago, when those statements were made about Nicaragua, there were some who pushed back on it. An article that was published in the medical journal The Lancet actually challenged that idea, and it compared the response of Nicaragua to neighboring countries of El Salvador and Honduras, because in both of those countries, the lockdowns were very strict and enforced in very cruel ways. Quote, Mather and his colleagues cite the contrasting policies of El Salvador and Honduras. In El Salvador, the president has told people to self-isolate, offering a subsidy of $300 per family that led to massive unregulated queues outside of government offices. The Los Angeles Times reported on April 7, 2020, that the lockdown in El Salvador is enforced by gangs with baseball bats. In Honduras, a national curfew has led to police violence, more than 1,000 arrests and almost 900 vehicles being confiscated, according to the Human Rights Group Committees of Relatives of the Disappeared in Honduras. Despite these actions, both countries have much higher infection levels than does Nicaragua. That article was written in April of last year. Now, as a result of all these lockdown policies that have been in place, we now have a year's worth of data to find out just how well or not well Nicaragua did in comparison to neighboring countries like El Salvador and Honduras. But on top of that, 
We also have data that shows how Nicaragua performed in comparison to places like the United States and Italy. And by the way, not only did Nicaragua not fail to do well, it actually outperformed all of the countries that I just mentioned. According to OurWorldInData.org, differences in the population size between different countries are often large. To compare countries, it is insightful to look at the number of confirmed cases per million people. This is what the chart shows. So using that comparison, how did Nicaragua do in comparison to the United States or say the country of Italy, which just went into its next round of lockdowns? Well, see for yourself because the numbers aren't even close. This chart shows the number of confirmed COVID-19 cases per day. This is shown as a seven-day rolling average. May 26, 2020 was the highest single day of new cases reported in Nicaragua. 72 cases in Nicaragua compared to 550 new cases on the same day reported in Italy and in the United States on that same day, 21,660 new cases. But cases are one thing. What about the death rate? How about we compare the total cumulative confirmed deaths from COVID-19 over the past year, and let's include more than just the United States and Italy. Let's also include the numbers for those neighboring countries of El Salvador and Honduras, neighboring countries that used violence to enforce lockdowns. Well, as you can see, the United States and Italy had vastly more confirmed COVID deaths than Nicaragua did, and so did Honduras and El Salvador. And one more chart here, just so you can see the difference between El Salvador and Honduras more clearly versus Nicaragua. Nicaragua's deaths are in the low hundreds, while Honduras and El Salvador are in the thousands. Again, these are countries that enforced lockdowns with baseball bats and thousands of arrests. Well, recently I spoke with Dr. Malcolm Kendrick. He is a general practitioner in the UK, and I talked to him about why specifically this kind of data is so readily ignored. Nicaragua, as I mentioned, did incredibly well over the course of the last year in comparison to countries that had very strict lockdowns. And of course, as he points out, the answer is pretty obvious because the end result of Nicaragua's decision to not lock down and not enforce mask wearing proved to be the end result that the media and that Big Pharma did not want. If everyone looks for examples of countries like Finland or New Zealand and go, look how wonderful it was and look how wonderful lockdown is. But of course, science requires that you don't just look at places that confirm what you think. You've also got to look at places that absolutely contradict what you're saying. And Nicaragua is a, is a perfect example of this. Yes, I mean, if you look at, at Sweden, they've had a considerable number of deaths. They sit around about the average number of deaths per million per for most um, Western wealthy European countries. And, and therefore, you'd have to say is that the evidence from Sweden was that it didn't really make any difference one way or the other. Nicaragua had benefits. People don't even look at Japan and they say, oh, well, they all wore masks. They always wear masks. That's why they didn't get infected. And you have to answer that by saying, yes, in the first wave, at the start of the first wave, people in the West weren't wearing masks. But people in the West are wearing far more masks proportionally than ever were worn in Japan. And yet we're still seeing exactly the same striking up of cases of COVID across these countries. So, you know, taken on a broad perspective, this mask wearing has appeared to have achieved absolutely nothing at all. So what you need to know here is that right now, the U.S. is kind of on the cusp of going one way or the other. We can either move toward greater freedom and continue to drop lockdowns and mask requirements, or we can move into greater controls the way that Europe is right now, which is instituting new lockdowns across various countries. The bottom line is we need to make a decision, and that decision can't be based upon the people who have continually been wrong in the information they have given us. We have a year's worth of data to now look at and be able to determine a couple of absolutely true facts. Number one, mask wearing does not, according to the data, prevent the spread of COVID. Number two, lockdowns do not prevent the spread of COVID. And number three, in places where neither of those things were instituted, the numbers are actually better than in countries where they were. That's not an opinion. Those are the cold, hard facts. Of course, those facts are not really very popular and social media companies will actually remove our video just for stating these facts. They call it a violation of community service. So two things you can do. Number one, text me at the number on your screen. I can send these reports directly to your mobile device. And number two, check out ise.media where these reports will be able to live free from the censorship of social media companies. Thanks for watching.